Porsche has just dropped a new Cayenne for 2024 and this is definitely an evolutionary design over a revolution and that's in typical Porsche style. So what we're going to do in this video is talk about, we have to talk about some of the spec and tech because they are super impressive and then jump into Photoshop and have a look at the design front, side, rear, interior. That's where the biggest changes definitely happen here for the 2024 Cayenne. And we're also going to have a look at the Turbo GT separately because I think it's such a special SUV that it, it deserves a separate segment in this video. First of all, let's have a look at this article from Road and Track and see what's new with the uh, with the new Cayenne. So we have a 2024 refresh. It's more evolution than a revolution. The dashboard and center stack are all new with a 12.3 inch central infotainment screen as standard. Behind the steering wheel, you have a 12.6 inch digital gauge cluster, which I actually think is integrated really well, even though it doesn't have the cap. We're going to have a look at that in a second. And for the first time, buyers can now option for a 10.9 inch touchscreen for the passenger side dash so you can keep themselves entertained while you're driving this beast. Also new for the 2024 is a twin turbo 4 liter V8 for the Cayenne S with 468 horsepower and 442 pound feet of torques, 37 horses more and 37 torques more than the uh, than before. The base also get a, a little boost in power. You get a 3 liter V6 with 348 horsepower and 368 pound feet of torque. The Cayenne E hybrid uses the same engine as the base one. However, they snuck in a little electric motor in there with 174 horsepower just from the electric motor and for a total output of 400 and 63 horses. And then of course you have the Cayenne Turbo GT, the beast in the Cayenne lineup. And you get carbon ceramic brakes, air suspension, rear axle steering, titanium ta tailpipes, 22 inch gorgeous looking wheels and a four liter twin turbo V8 making 650 ponies. Zero to 60 takes only 3.1 seconds and the top speed is very close to 190 miles per hour. The starting price for the new Cayenne is $80,850 going all the way up for the Cayenne Turbo GT at close to $200,000. So with that said, let's jump into Photoshop here. Let's have a look at this design and what's new. As always, let's start with the front end. Up here you have the 2018 model. Down here you have the 2024. I know it's very hard to tell these two apart because the changes are very subtle but they're very effective in bringing the Cayenne up to uh, the current lineup and the styling of that. For example, the new 911. You have the, the old one looking very smooth in this section while the new one has a much more static and sharper design. Specifically, if you look at this fin, which has an angle to it in the 2018 while in the new one it's a straight horizontal no fussing about with this fin it's straight horizontal 90 degree angle of that detail and that's very similar to what we have in the Porsche 911 so that's why I think it kind of brings it closer to the 911 that way you also have brand new headlights so in the old one you have a lower corner here that's just rounded and a very round looking headlight looking nice and also rectangular L uh, daytime running lights up here which is typical for Porsche these days to have these four lights in the new design we have this upswing and it feels a little bit more uh, sharpened off in specifically this corner and of course this corner down here it, it feels more squarish in line with what's going on in the front end overall I think the easiest way to tell these apart is to just look at this area right here in the lower corner of the headlight in the new one it actually goes straight and then it has this tiny little upswing right here I think if you look at this if you manage to come that close to the new uh, and then look at these details that's the in my opinion the easiest way to tell these apart because even this area down here looks almost identical to the new 2024, which is not a bad thing. I, I still think this Cayenne is one of the best looking SUVs on the market today. It's a fantastic design and Cayenne overall from the very first one has evolved so much and turned into this handsome looking SUV. The first generations wasn't that beautiful to look at, but they definitely are now. So let's move on to the side view. And I think this is the view where you can barely tell these two apart. You have the 2018 up here again and the 2024 at the bottom. But looking at this, it's very hard to see what's the difference here. If I look at the side mirrors, for example, this looks almost exactly the same. It has to be the same mirror. Look at this integration of the 
of the uh, indicator in the side, we have the exact same integration in the 2024. The overall greenhouse and the doors also look exactly the same as the 2018 up here. Looking at the spoiler here, for example, you see the cut lines, you see the graphics looking identical to the 2024. You also have the doors and you have the same kind of line going here in the middle of the car. And look at the ridges that go around the defenders also look identical to the to the 2024 model. So I don't think they changed the side view a lot. And it doesn't matter because it's still a good looking SUV. They don't necessarily need to change the side view. But if we have a look at the front here and then the rear real quick from a side view, you can see that we definitely have a much more horizontal upright end point of the new 2024. Well, in the previous 2018, it has this angle going outwards a little bit. So again, a softer styling for the 2018 when you compare it to the 2024. That goes for the headlights as well. A lot more round in the 2018 and more rectangular, I would say, in the 2024. The wheels, if I look at these wheels right here that we have on these specific models, I would definitely go for the 2018 models. This looks more Porsche to me than these five spoke and also looks a little bit more upscale. But this is also the Cayenne S while this is is the base can down here looking at the rear end same thing here I'm not sure what's different in the lower section however we do have a brand new design for the taillights right here that means that this section or at least from here you have a cut line here so this part is probably new on the 2024 because they need to house a different outline for the taillights themselves so let's have a closer look here it's easier to see the rear from of course a rear view so that's what we're gonna do right now upstairs we have 2018 downstairs 2024 and you can see that we have the quad tail pipes. I do believe that this is just because we have the Cayenne S in the top model. These in the base Cayenne, uh, these tail pipes, not a huge fan. These look, they kind of look base to me, these tail pipes when you have them. You can see that we don't have the Cayenne S in, in, in this specific 2024 model down here. However, the biggest changes here are two when you look at the differences between these two. You have a big change in the taillight design. So in the previous 2018, they went down here and created a nice framing for the taillights and pretty much uh, in line with Porsche DNA to have these taillights with the light bar in the middle. However, in the new one, again, they went closer to the design of the Porsche 911 and they just ditched this dip that we have in the 2018 up here and just created two horizontal lines for the housing of the taillights. I think it looks really good. And there's still no mistaking this for being anything else than a Porsche. I mean, you just have to look at the design and then you have the lettering Porsche right in the middle to help you understand what model you're looking at. The other big change happens down here. So look at the integration or the placement for the license plate, for example, up here, sitting in the trunk of the, of the 2018, while they moved it down all the way to this point in the 2024 and I actually think I prefer the 2018 in this case because we have a very weird looking cut line for the trunk now you can see the cut line goes here and then goes kind of in here and disappears being eaten up a little bit by the space for the license plate making it go up here in the in the surfacing of the car and then goes back down and continues on the other side I would love to have this cut line for the for the trunks stretching down in the same line and just have one single line at the bottom it would just makes for a, a, a simpler design when you look at the rear end but it's still a relatively simple design in the rear but in this case I would like to have the 2024 taillights with the bumper and the placement of the license plate of the 2018 let's move on to the interior of the new Cayenne up here we have the 2018 at the bottom we have the new 2024 I have to say I really like the old 2018 interior it looks classy I would personally not go for these colors I would want to have a much darker interior but look at the integration of the infotainment screen here for example it looks very well integrated in the overall dash and it has connections to some other graphic features in the interior for example in this case the most um, clear one would be the vents underneath we have the same line of the outline of the of the infotainment screen then continuing and housing the vents as well i think that's a beautiful th those are the tiny little touches that i want to see when you integrate big screens like this and by the way i would not 
not need a bigger screen than what we have here. This is plenty for me. But when you have big screens like this, make them feel welcomed in the interior by including them with some other graphic features. This is a good example of that. And then we have the gauge cluster, which has a nice housing to it. We have an analog tachometer in the center, very Porsche-like. These are all digital. But it still looks very good. I like that we have the tachometer centered. It's always going to be there. It's an analog piece. You can't change it if you want to. And then we have this control panel here looking really cool as well with some tactile buttons included for the climate control, which we still have in the new one. So have a look at this. We still have the big screen in the middle, but I don't think, I mean, it's still well integrated because it sits between these two big chamfers right here. And then you have the passenger uh, info screen or entertainment screen right here. It looks like they can even look, if I zoom in, this looks like a movies or something. So that would be sweet to just sit as a passenger and watch some movies while you're doing all the driving. But look at the integration of the gauge cluster here, for example. So we still have it be rounded a little bit at top, but it's all digital now, now obviously. And I don't think that the vents here are as well integrated like we had in the previous Cayenne. I just like this interior. I think this interior is what I'm looking for in a modern car interior. Have some connection with the infotainment screen and a proper gauge cluster. That's really all I need need. Still, I think this uh, gauge cluster really is well integrated in this design as well. And the reason being is we can see that more clearly here. So this is not just a, a thin screen with no, with, you know, floating in midair, looking like a, a, an iPad on the dash. This actually has a nice base for it. So look at this thickness going behind it. And you could even say that it has a nice housing because we have this chamfer up top. So two chamfers going above it to kind of create a nice framing for the gauge cluster. However, what I would like to do here is you see this line, I want to extrude it this way. So I want to have this be extruded in this way. So we create a cap for this uh, gauge cluster. And that would then help with the sun. If the sun is pointing right at this screen, you're going to lose a lot of contrast and you're going to have a lot of glare. So we could help that by just adding a, a bit of a cap on top of this gauge cluster. And if we did that, I think this would be a perfect integration of, you know, modern digital gauge clusters and still have having it have this cap and to reduce the glare, but we still have some physical buttons. It looks even more than maybe more buttons than what we had in the previous 2018. Looks like we have a lot of uh, dials and stuff for the climate. You can see 22 degrees right here and you have this dial in the middle as well. Looking very nice. I do like the new interior of the Porsche Cayenne as well, even though I think I still prefer uh, this type of gauge cluster that we have in the 2018, but that's just me. So last but not least, let's have a look at this beast. This uh, Turbo GT, $200,000, and this is a coupe SUV. The thing with Porsches and coupe SUVs, they're not just acceptable when it comes, in it comes to design for me. I think they are stunning looking pieces of uh, machinery. And the reason being is because this is a Porsche. We're used to having this sloping roof line here from the night all the all the decades of 911s we've seen so it kind of works well when it transforms this into the proportions of an SUV as well it doesn't feel unnatural the front end doesn't feel heavy which they usually do when you take a normal SUV and just chop off a mass of uh, volume back here it makes the front end look super heavy but not, not in this case this actually works and we have some nice new tail lights for the turbo GT similar to what we have on the normal uh, Cayenne and we also have this interesting positioning of the tailpipes, which I think is specific for the Turbo GT. They're not exactly centered. They do have some distance between them, and it kind of makes for a unique integration of both the uh, diffuser down here and, of course, the tailpipes. Up top, we have a massive wing in the rear end. I love that they integrated this on, a, on an SUV. And we have some big, aggressive front intakes in the front end with the same kind of thin, beautiful LED lighting right here. And here you can clearly see see these new slots that I'm talking about instead of having to be rectangular like this in the 2018 they're now slots and I think this is a little detail that really brings this car into a new modern vibe when you look at it from a, fr a front view this in combination with a bit more sharper designs of the headlights and the um, intakes in the front end I did see this as a press photo with some um, it was a silver color and the wheels in this case when we have the blue they're kind of gold or bronze but in that silver one they were blue they had a tone of blue to them I thought that looked so good and I love this design of the, these wheels as well in combination with these classic Porsche graphics that we have at the bottom 